We tend to think possums are a common sight, yet outside of our cities, their numbers are in serious decline. This is due to habitat loss and feral pests like cats and foxes. Australia is home to approximately 23 known species of possum, but the ones we see most often are the brush tail and ring tails. Brush tails are the largest possum and can be identified by their silvery grey colour, pointy ears, and of course, their bushy tail. The ring tail is smaller and more timid, and they can be identified by the white tip on their tail. Possums are a protected native species, and the ring tail, unlike its brush tail cousin, is about half the size, and rather than live in hollows, builds a nest out of twigs and branches called a dray. Now, you can make a dray to put in your garden to provide a safe, happy home for our little ringtail possum buddies. Now, making a possum dray is pretty straightforward. Probably going to need a few things from your local hardware store, particularly two wire hanging baskets. You'll need some paper bark, some twigs and branches, just as the possum would use, a bit of twine to tie it all together, and some wire for joining these two baskets. I've already put a few leaves and things inside here for the possum to sleep in. We need to take the core fibre out of one of our baskets, put it over the top of the bottom basket. The next step is joining the baskets together with garden wire. So, another bit. There go. You can add whatever else you think your new tenants might appreciate. Casuarina needles, gum nuts, I reckon she'll be happy with that. Next thing we need to do is take the core fibre that was inside. It's now going to go on the outside, but we need a door. Otherwise, our possum is not going to fit through. Now, of course, possums are nocturnal, so you're going to want to make sure your dray is completely covered so it's cosy inside and stops any daylight coming in. Pop it on so she's got enough room to get through. Now all I have to do is sew it all together. I'll tie this off. It's nice and solid. And as you can see, door's there. No light getting in. Perfect for a nocturnal inhabitant, yet still looking a bit man-made, funnily enough. So a bit of paper bark. We'll try and camouflage this, make it so it blends into its surroundings, hopefully appealing for a ringtail possum to come and make a home. Using your needle and thread, sew the paper bark into the dray. This will provide both insulation and camouflage for the ringtail possums. Well, took a bit of effort, but I'm certainly happy with that. And hopefully the possums are as well. All I've got to do now is hang it up. And when it comes to finding a home, we all know it's location, location, location. And what better place for a possum dray than in a lily pilly hedge? Lots of dense foliage, hopefully some fruit, and if you look in the spring, hopefully a baby joey.